now that everyone is feeling refreshed, we have a task for our audience. We need you to vote on which two scenes you would like to see further develop as our soap opera unfolds. So we have scene A with Nanette and Ancho. Will Nanette marry Ancho and become mayor of Bubble? Round of applause if you want to see this scene continue. Great. Scene B, will JB make any friends under the age of 53? Will Kathy ever come out of the closet? <laughs> and scene C, will M win Wonderful Whacker of Bubble? And will her dad ever shut up? We'll be back with two of those scenes, but first we have another commercial break. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 That was so far. Uh, <laughs> what we need for you now, we're going to do a good commercial, but we need a product that doesn't exist but should, and you wish it does, you wish it did. What is it? Explosive pants. Explosive <laughs> pants! <laughs> God, I wish I had them. Finally! Right. How many times has this happened to you? You've got a bad day at work, an ugly boss, an awful friend, some relative you just don't like, and you've got to wear boring pants to go meet them. Well, have I got a new product for you. Explosive pants. Yeah, that's right. When you put these things on, they, they warm up to the heat in your body, and then when you least expect it, they just explode! You've never experienced such pleasant and surprising chafing in all your life. <laughs> but you don't have to take my word for it. Here's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to talk to you about explosive pants. <laughs> i tell you what, being seven foot one, you look a lot of people in the top of the head. But when I put on my explosive pants, I don't feel like anyone else. I feel just... <laughs> just great! Because I know that at any point in time, my pants could explode, and they're not going to know what happened to them. It is super cool. I know what you're thinking, folks. Doesn't that sound like some sort of hazard that could be harmful to those around you? Well, sure. I mean, that's the whole point of explosive pants. You take out the worst people in, in the world, and, and you never have to deal with them again. And you can't be found guilty of any crimes because Probably you're dead! <laughs> you can use this with international diplomacy with Iran, North Korea... And even Taiwan. Now, we have scientific proof to show you that these pants are guaranteed to work 3.6% of the time. So what we did is we sent 100 people out with explosive pants 3.7 of them are dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to be across the board with other people. I'm a scientist. Don't always know what they're talking about, but who cares? We have exploding pants at almost 4% of the time. Work for you! And we would be remiss if we didn't tell you a little bit about the side effects, because there are a few side effects from the... Pants. One of them is they explode and you die. <laughs> also, if you're allergic to nuts, you should stay away from them completely. <laughs> Runny nose, bad breath, toe jam. And some other things that we are not allowed to mention on television because they are not appropriate. So call now, folks, and get your free pair of exploding pants. They're actually not free. You've got to pay. <laughs> You've got to pay $6.99 for half a pair. But <laughs> after that, if you pay another $6.99, we'll give you the second half of the pair absolutely free, and your burial is on us. <laughs> so if you call now, we'll throw in an extra surprise. We'll give you an exploding glove. Just one exploding glove. <laughs> It'll look like one that's also not exploding, so when you put them on your hands, you're like, I'm hot, baby! And I'm Michael Jackson! It's really cool! Wait, I only have one hand now! That's a bummer! Nah! So call me! <laughs> And now back to our program. We are going to start with scene B. Don't feel like myself when I'm not wearing this thing. You don't look like yourself when you're not wearing it. 
Shocky. Yeah. It's five minutes past the time we told the pregnant mother-in-laws <laughs> and their son to show up to the party. Nada. And it's five minutes until we told the people who wanted to raise friends to show up to the party. Nada. And there's one Hoovy in here, and that's me. So it's pretty much like every other party. Honey! I made Dr. Who cupcakes, and I made extras, because I thought there were lots of people coming, but now I made extras so you won't feel bad, because... because based on Yeah, and we're three people up here, sort of. 
Um, so we're going to have to call in, you want to talk to the father, the son, or the bitch? Maybe the whole trinity. Yeah. Uh, at, yeah, can you give me like a three times the power to kill successfully? It's not what we usually do. We usually grant prayers for people who are actually helping. Yeah. Almighty Lord! Oh. He's supplicating himself. <laughs> yeah, throw it in. A lot of praise. Almighty, great, powerful, almighty, uh, loving Lord, who we praise all the time, what do you think particularly of our at game time, please help my daughter Emily guide her on the way, make her safe, keep her safe, as she whacks that bitch. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, we'll do that one. Just this time, though. There you go. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Now. Get out there and whack! I'm gonna go find her. <laughs> this is uh, very fortuitous that I have found you here. Hello. On the sidewalk of Babur. So, uh, I wanted to meet you here so there are no intercoms. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I walked the sidewalk. It is there are generally intercoms on. It is generally safe. Uh, and uh, I want to know how many votes you have secured for me as mayor. Oh, the, all the votes are secured. This is excellent, isn't it? Well, I still haven't seen your payment. Well, the girls of the Brussels have been... Oh, my goodness. goodness. Mm. <laughs> is that one of your girls? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I will say that. So anyway, um, I was thinking, I was trying to do everything for the campaign, and so what I was doing is I was making things beautiful, and, and I had an idea as I was doing that. I was going around and I was just painting everything in the bubble sidewalk. How are you doing, sugar? Oh, I love your hairdo. And so anyway, so I was walking down, and I was like, you know what? Best thing she could do is have me part of her campaign because that way you can cover two parts of the boat. You know what I'm saying? This is very, very intelligent. And uh, that was actually part of uh, what we were about to discuss. Oh, really? You're going to be part of it. I just didn't know that was your girl. This is my girl, Robert. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robert. Yes. I know that you have had uh, some troubles with your. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, so, so we don't really want to talk about my brother, that's a whole different thing, my oh, brother. So what is this about the brother? You don't want to talk about There are no intercoms, you have to say <laughs> So... You don't like your brother and you need some help? Oh, actually it's not that I don't like my brother. It's, it's a secret, he doesn't want anyone to know exactly. that he is really his brother. What? That is... <laughs> oh, no wonder you don't want to whack him. Look, that was supposed to be a secret? That you just told? This is, we are not, we are amongst friends without the intercom. I don't even know her, I just met her, how did she be my friend? <laughs> she is a friend of mine, so now she is a friend of yours. Facebook, oh. Facebook friends. Oh, I don't know. Sorry I'm late, uh, God got a prayer sent me to protect you, uh, your conversation was so interesting, uh, I had to listen in on it first. My angel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been your guardian angel, uh, Sorry, I'm kind of late. Uh, we have everyone working on the campaign. Yeah. How could we possibly lose? I don't know. I always <coughs> love bald angels, though. <laughs> yeah. They are good fortune. Wow. Listen, uh... So what's the message from God? The message is he doesn't want you to whack anybody. You gotta change your heart. He's got big uh, plans for you up there when that time comes, and uh, he can't uh, tolerate any more of your stuff. He's not supposed to change. He's not supposed to change his mind. How could he change his mind? He the flood, he okay? It. The flood was a mind changer. Once that was open, forget it. He can do it every time now. Well, now what am I supposed to do? What? Oh, yeah. we're doing nails. That's not what you get it? Yeah. Oh, girl, I got that color in the car. I'll be my like, hey. I, uh, you got this under control. All right, I'll just uh, broadcast your conversation. <laughs> I'll do the best I can now. I've seen that artwork. Are you the French lady? I am Ninette, the Verge, enchantée. I don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't touch. 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 I don
can't touch below the shoulder. Enchanté? <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> As in, as in the devil? Yes. Or is that just a strange bubble name? Because these bubble people. Are no, that's my real name. No, I know. Like, there's a kid named Sky down the street. That's it. That's it. There is Josephine. Josephine. Yes. There is very strange names. Those are all strange. I'm Satan, the dark prince. Of, that is Satan. Uh, yeah. So. Hey, you two, is there something here I need to know? Yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> As if they taught me that in church. Welcome back. I need some audience participation, so I'll need you to put your hands together. Do you want to see scene A, which was JB and Shakti? Beelzebub, Lynette, and M planning world domination. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I uh, 
Send photo of a senior year in high school. Click. <laughs> All right, I got me a date. Thank you. Hey, Jackie, I just checked my email. Yeah. I feel like putting the metaphor part in the email it might have been misleading. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much you it, David? I'll just pop here on your computer. Go ahead. And, um, no, you can just. <laughs> You're moving. <laughs> Get it? As you live on the mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, how would you have me word it? Hi. I am a person. Hopefully you are too. <laughs> I'm not looking to make more of me. I'm kind of weird. But if you're looking for a good time, it does not involve birds or bees, unless metaphorically, <laughs> then you should reply. <laughs> Here is a picture of my DVD collection of Doctor Who DVDs. Wait, wait. You need a face shot. Well, a head shot. I like to think of myself as the seventh Doctor, so you could just send him that one. You need a real picture. What? A real picture of you. Shakti? Yeah. But strangers will see it. Well, how do you think you're going to score? You're not going to score the Doctor Who picture. Well, the seventh doctor is quite fetching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, Shakti. You can take a picture. All right. Honey, I'm here. I want your monogram, kid. What are you still doing here? Nothing. It's a fair point, Mom. She is not doing anything. <laughs>
So thank you for coming. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can you give a big round of applause for our wonderful talented cast? And if you enjoyed uh, your night of improv, check out the check out the Boulder Improv Collaborative, and you can take workshops and take classes and learn how to do improv too. So thanks again for coming. We'll see you next time. We'll be here again on April 5th.